So what a freight forwarder does is they are a, a middleman. So you have you in Australia, a freight forwarder in the middle, and then your factory, typically a factory in somewhere like China, for instance, in your example. So what the, what the freight forwarder does is a freight forwarder deals directly with the factory, deals directly with the port authorities, deals directly with the customs in China, uh, deals with the shipping company, uh, deals with the port authorities in Australia, deals with the customs in Australia, and deals with any, any people outside of that little remit too. So they do all the boring administrative sort of stuff associated with importing your product from country to country. They do all the boring administrative stuff of that. And there is a lot of stuff to do. They actually do a significant amount of work. Now, why is it free? Well, because they've got pre-existing relationships with all of these factories and the port authority uh, uh, and the shipping companies, they can get their rates for shipping are significantly cheaper than the rates that you can get for shipping, okay? Particularly when you're starting off, particularly when you're not buying full container loads. When you buy a full container load, it's a little bit different. But to begin with, they will get much cheaper pricing than you could get. Because of that, all that they will do is let's suppose that they can get the shipping done for a hundred dollars and it's going to cost and if you try to do it yourself it would cost you a hundred and thirty dollars. Well they just take that thirty dollars difference and that becomes their profit, their fee to do the work plus they do all of the work associated f with doing it uh, for you and I think that way it's actually free to get it done because it doesn't end up costing you any more but it saves you a significant amount of time uh, and headache and usually money as well because if you do it it's easy to make stupid mistakes. I, I know because I've made many of them and, uh, and I just use freight forwarders all the time now. So Rebecca I hope that answers your question for you kind of a roundabout way but they act as middlemen. They do all the logistical stuff with getting your, your stuff imported. They make sure everything's done properly for you. And for the most part, it doesn't cost much money at all because they get cheaper rates than you could get. And, and the pr difference between those prices becomes their profit. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia, and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales have used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.